Hi, this is A Plus Ashley with ATLHipHop.com, and I'm live at the A3C Music Festival. And I've got a legend in my presence. This is Daddy O. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Well, it's ha- I mean, everyone knows you from Statistonic, but mm-hmm. for, the, for the younger people out there or for the uninitiated, why don't you give yourself an introduction? You know what I couldn't do a long time ago? What is that? Google me. <laughs> Google me. Google me. It's true. I mean, you really should know. If you don't know, you should know. If you know better, do better. So with your long, illustrious career and essentially being one of the key members of the golden era of hip-hop, creating brand-new sounds, redefining landscapes, now I hear that you're interested in the intersection between hip-hop and tech, and that makes a lot of sense, but I'd like you to help me to understand exactly why that's a passion point for you. Well, I think that technology has been a part of our life, especially in hip-hop, for a long period of time. So we was the f- first guys to kind of switch the way we did things, even before Hollywood went to digital cameras, right? We were doing Pro Tools, and so technology's been a part of what we did, and we were the earliest adopters of MySpace and even Friendster and Twitter, you know, that's why there's a black Twitter, right? There's a black Twitter because of hip-hop, not because of black people, because black hip-hop people, you know what I mean? So, um, there's, 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 but there's some missing links. When, you, when you're dealing with new artists, um, some of them just don't know where to start. I mean, they're, they're, they're definitely um, raised on technology, right? So they, they're, they're, not, they're not foreign to it. But when it comes down to them and their music, maybe the promotion of their music, i say that lightly, but yes, maybe the promotion of their music, they don't really know what to do. So I've, I've been kind of delving into this thing for the last seven years, just trying to build this platform. And it's always great to hear stories because a lot of times people have these questions of where are they now? And it's always refreshing to me to hear people not just still being, but actually being, expanding, and growing and doing new things. Talk a little bit more about your specific new platform that you have and how that related to the panel that you were on here at A3C. So I'm, um, I'm building this panel called I Heard Right. Um, and basically I've just kind of noticed that if you're a new artist and you're coming into the business, you know, because I was a new artist coming into the business. And I had a lot of help. You know, that's the other thing. It's like my heart is there because I had a lot of help. Like, you know, Russell was a big help. You know, all these people that, you know, they're older guys now, but they were all, you know, they were very helpful in terms of, you know, pointing me the right way, showing me the right studio, telling me not to spend my money here and all those particular things. And I noticed that, you know, if you take 2016 and a new artist comes into business, there's no help. Because he really thinks everything is online. But then what he does is he ends up getting a million YouTube views and nothing happens. And so, you know, what do you do with that? Like, how do you garner audience? How do you maintain audience? What do you do with the audience that you maintain? And then where's the developmental process? Because I've, I've figured out that in technology, um, retail has been redefined, right? At, most notably through iTunes, but we can use, you know, Amazon, whatever. Radio's been redefined a million times, you know, Spotify, Pandora, Beats Music, et cetera, et cetera. But the developmental piece and all the other modes that we had that made dope artists and made incredible albums like The Chronic, none of that stuff has been redefined. And so that's kind of sort of my mission. Oh, wow. Well, that is an exceptional quest, it seems like. I mean, I definitely would like to see a little bit more refinement in terms of what is the product that comes out from artists young and old. And that's a great segue to your new project that you're working on, which we briefly talked about before this interview. And you've got an interesting concept going there in which, if I heard you correctly, you're making the bold claim that you are the best that's going to be out besides any other rapper that's out there than KRS-One. So rappers, did you hear that? So, so, here's, so let me say it. I'll say it better than you. <laughs> I'm nicer now than I've ever been. Right now, if Rakim was to go against me right now, he's trash. The old Rakim stuff is dope. Rakim right now is trash. And most of them right now is trash. And I don't understand how Iron Maiden can make a new record. Led Zepp can make a new record. YouTube, YouTube makes records whenever they feel like it. And we sit around. You know, somebody said something to me. Um, I was doing an interview with a guy from Canada the other day, and I, fr- I heard the, the most heart-wrenching thing. He said he did an interview with Big Daddy Kane, and he asked Kane about making new music. And Kane said, I'm not making no, mu- no mu- more mu- music. And he said, why? He said, they like the old stuff. It's the worst thing I ever heard. You know, it's, it's no reason that 
is our music going to in particularly be for young people? Probably not, even though young people, they fuck with me because of where I'm from. But they're not going to fuck with all of us. Like if it was a new kid and play record, ain't nobody young going to fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? I, I like, I like. But, but somebody, you know what I'm saying? But somebody will. But the bottom line is that, like, where's the escalation of the talent? Like if Miles was still living, he'd probably play a better horn than he did when he, before he died. And so I don't get that not redefining your craft, not getting better. So I'm totally nice. At, like, does that shit sound like kindergarten to me compared to what I do now? You are right now, and everyone should grow. Now, that actually brings me to an interesting point. I think you're the perfect person to opine on it. I haven't asked anyone about it yet. What did you think about the Action Bronson, Ghostface, Hubbub? And did you think that, based on what you're saying, that Action may have had a point when he said that Ghostface wasn't as nice as him right now? Well... You know, it's funny because my son, right, he, he listened to all of that. So I, the first time I heard Action Bronson was through my son because he listened to, like, Esoteric and Vinnie Paz and all them dudes. And so Action Bronson was on one of those records. I think it was a Styles of Beyond record. I can't remember. But he was on one of those records that my son, he, that's all he listened to, right? And I heard him. I said, yo, who that, Ghostface? And he was like, no, that's Action Bronson, you know, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yo, dude, he sounds just like Ghostface, right? Um. I don't know if Action can make the claim that he's not that he, that Ghost ain't as nice to him, cause Ghost nice on some other shit. Like I don't know what Ghost is. He might not even really be a person. You know what I'm saying? Like he nice on some. He do some other stuff. He does. He does. I, I have a philosophy, right? That all hip hop is in two lines, and this is from my peers, right? It's either in the Melly Mel lane, which is basically boldness which is like me, Chris, and a few of us, Chuck D, and then, it, and then the, the Kumo D line, right, which is vocal acrobatics, Buster, all of that. Um, um, Ghost fits in the vocal acrobat piece. And so the shit that they, I don't understand what none of that is. You know, when they start flipping their tongue and going all around, I have no idea what they're doing. It's dope to me. Magic. Kendrick does that. I don't know what that is. I just know how to go like that, y'all, in a matter of fact, because even the train got two tracks. I know how to do that. You know what I'm saying? I know how to do the, 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 the bullshit, right? But I don't know if he has a point. Um, I think the first thing that should have happened is that Go should have smacked him upside his head. And then the second thing that should have happened I agree. is they should have made a record together. I agree with that, too. Keep it 100, man. Thank you so much for coming through. Dropping no knowledge. Tell us the name of the project again. Hashtag everybody but KRS. Everybody but KRS, that's a message to it's you on, to step on, your game up right it's now. On, um, it's on iTunes, and but you know I actually would prefer that you download it from RCS Music, which is the um, digital arm of Chuck D. Spit Digital. Okay. And so Chuck put out my record. He put out the new Scarface. It's a few of us that you know, cause he's, cause I was gonna put this record out next year, and Chuck was like, Daniel, what you doing, man? I was like, I'm waiting until next year, man. I'm waiting until I'm 55. Nobody ever released a record when they was a senior. I'm going to release it on my birthday. That's, it's like, Daniel, we don't do that, man. Like, put <laughs> Hip-hop doesn't out. wait, right? So, so I got like three more records. I got a record ready, and then I'm writing two more right now. So. Okay. And you came here to, at A3C right now in 2015 to challenge all the other artists out there to connect That's with up-and-coming artists. Because I ain't fucking with them young dudes. I'm not fucking with Drake and them. I'm not doing that. I'm not getting in the middle of none of that. I'm just talking about my peers, and then I actually went a little further back. Like, at first, I was just talking about the guys in my group, but then a little went further back. Like, I, I bum-rushed Kumo D in his dressing room. I bum-rushed him and Kaz, so they could get it, too. Okay. Like, them, Mel, just, Mel Kaz, know. all of them could get it. The only one I won't fuck with is my man Raheem, because he real nice right now. Okay, so just for the, because this is, to me, I'm sorry, guys, this is breaking news. What is the specific constituency that you are challenging with this i'm saying making records right now records. now if we if we want to go to the live battle shit it's, i seen that keith murray um um oh, yeah. um Fred keith murray Fred star that was terrible so, but, but you know what it's it, it you no know, just on an off note it's it's a it's a great attestment to battle rap culture which means that it's actually making some noise because the one thing that i did notice is that keith murray actually mentioned k shine and says zip him up that means that they watching you know, that's but true. what I thought was real dope, though, is that if we do it, like when Fredro do it, we should do it to a beat because I thought it was dope. Like, let let Goods and, and, and Averb and all them do what they do. But if we do it, the battles, we should battle to a beat. 
But no, I'm not. Uh, you know, we could do the live shit too. We could so do. The can we get a commitment from you right here that you will battle anybody out there that chooses to battle you to a beat? In my yeah, in your demographic. In my demographic to a beat and going back. There it is. Everybody, look, everybody but KRS, right? I'm definitely not fucking with Chris at all. And then um and 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 not Raheem from the Furious Five either. Okay. Yeah. Everybody else though. It is said. It is true. I'm an attorney. I'm gonna hold him to that contract. Yeah. Okay. So this is A plus Ashley here at the A3C Music Festival, a place where magical things happen. I'm here with Dedio of Statisonic. He's got a whole bunch of exciting things popping right now, challenging each of us to expand ourselves, to improve, to always seek new horizons, and to be better. That's what hip-hop is all about, breaking the rules, being yourself, keeping the challenge going, not allowing anything to stop you from being the best version of yourself. I, I, couldn't, last, I, couldn't, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't have said it better. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. Welcome to Atlanta. And this is A Plus Ashley signing off. <laughs>